Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the cherry spots, the red spots that you might have seen in your body. In this video, I'll be discussing, is there anything to be afraid of it? Are they related to our liver or what are the causes plus the treatment? How we can improve the situation? First of all, let's understand. It's very funny actually, many of the patients who come who visit me in my consultations, they say by themselves that maybe it's related to liver. Maybe they have to clean their liver. That's why these, the red spots, the cherry spots have increased a lot in their body. Actually see, it's not directly related to the uh, liver. What are these? Let's go with this. These are simple dilation of the capillaries of the upper layer of the skin how they are forming. It's actually if a new capillary is forming from the old capillary, either it is just a totally new capillary forming in your body in the upper layer of the skin. Uh, you can say 90%, 95%, they don't turn into cancer. They are not cancerous. You know, four to 5%, anything can happen in this world. We can't guess. So if we talk in a broad way, these are not dangerous. If we are talking about Campbell de Morgan, or these are also known as cherry engineum. These things are not dangerous. So as I have said that they are because of the dilation of the capillaries in your body. This is what's happening. So in general, actually, it doesn't need any kinds of treatment. There are many laser treatments for it. Even the dermatologist can just pop them with a hot stick or you know any of the uh, hot instrument. They can be popped up also. Yes, it doesn't you know gives us comfort with our skin. Many of the males or the females are not comfortable if they have these uh, cherry angiomas or the red spots on their skin. But it's not dangerous for the body. So now let's come towards the cause that why it's happening. I said that there's a dilation of the capillary. So why it's happening? I have seen in my practice that it is because you can say it is very much related with the estrogen disbalance in the body. And why there is estrogen disbalance in the body? See, here comes liver. If the liver will be not functioning good, then the balance between the estrogen and the testosterone will not be balanced in the males. So this all work is done by the liver and same in the females also. That's why these things happens after pregnancy a lot in the women's it has been seen. And I have also noticed that all the females who have this, they in the further time have more risk of developing the spider veins or other kinds of the venal dilation problems as you can say the varicose veins, these kinds of stuff. So it is related to the estrogen. So what we can do so that we don't have these kinds of red spots or how we can reduce them. First of all, they're on the upper layer of the skin. If you're very much uncomfortable, you can ask to your dermatologist, he will uh, just can remove it from the upper side of your skin by any of the cosmetic treatment, it can be done. Now, what we should do inside so that it doesn't happen or they don't grow a lot. Maybe you will pop them up, maybe you will have a laser, but it will happen again if you're not treated from inside. So for this, what we have to do? Yes, you have to eat the food that is good for your liver. You can do a small liver detox kind of a stuff. I have a whole video about uh, liver detox. I'll put the link down below. You can have the look on this video. Just have a liver detox. You have to decrease the sweets. Yes, if you want to have good skin, you have to have good digestive tract also. So you have to decrease the sweet. You have to have a good digestion. More vegetables. This is the key. You have to have more vegetables. In Ayurveda, we say Pitta diet. You can just search on internet and just follow the Pitta diet and this will also help. The herbs that helps, specific that will help, these are first is Bhumi Amla. You can take one teaspoon two times in a day, empty stomach. The second one is Trifla. You can take in the powder one teaspoon two times in a day, 30 minutes after food, either tablets 
two tablets two times in a day 30 minutes after food plus you have to do the exercises also if you will do kinds of intensive exercises then what will happen that it will balance the estrogen and the testosterone in the body these herbs exercises pitta diet just do these things and they will help you so don't worry about it they are not going to be cancerous just eat clean smile more that is most important for your health and for your skin stay happy stay healthy